Good Monday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Can you believe it? Thanksgiving week is here already. Let's go ahead and take a look real quickly at the current temperatures outside around the county. We've got 49 degrees in East Spencer, 51 in Salisbury, 51 in China Grove. Uh, low 50s pretty much everywhere around the county. There could be some upper 40s embedded in there somewhere in some of these areas that don't have official reporting stations, but definitely uh, everybody right around the 50 degree mark, at least at this point. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, MISO fill outside because it's given us a good uh, indication of where the cold front is. That cold front that's been moving through the county is currently right here. It's literally moving through the county at this point and it will continue to drift to the east. As it does, wind uh, speeds will actually increase as we go through the day. We'll talk more about that in just a moment, but uh, you're certainly going to notice the wind out there today. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the models are indicating because temperatures are going to be the big deal today aside from the wind because we're going to be cooler today than we were yesterday. So this is as of 7 a.m. this morning. You're looking at temperatures uh, in the low to mid 40s around the county. Again, that's a tad bit off, but we're going to bump it ahead as we go to 8 a.m. You can see temperatures in the low to mid 50s. By 9 a.m., we're looking at uh, temperatures still in the low to mid 50s. 10 a.m., uh, still in the low to mid 50s. By 11, we're actually in the upper 50s uh, at this point. By uh, midday, still in the upper 50s. This is now going on 1 p.m., upper 50s, 2 p.m., upper 50s, 3 p.m., upper 50s, and we start to go the other way at 4 p.m. as the sun starts to get lower into the sky, and by 5 p.m., we're going to be back in the low to mid 50s, uh, 10 p.m., still in the low to mid 50s, 11 p.m., uh, we're going to see some upper 40s, low 50s, and then by midnight, we're going to be in the upper 30s, low to mid 40s around the county, so uh, we'll see uh, freezing chances opportunities overnight, as we head into the uh, early morning hours tomorrow. So certainly something to keep an eye on. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the weather impacts. These are sponsored by Patterson Farms Incorporated. The greenhouse is open. It's open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Head on out there. You can get some Christmas poinsettias to help decorate your home for the holidays. Uh, some other items are available there as well. They're also doing some fundraising with these poinsettias, so certainly keep that in mind. You can get to their website by uh, visiting rowancountyweather.com on the main page there. Click on the banner that you see that looks exactly like the one on the bottom of your screen now, and it will take you directly to their website. So you can see about how to participate in the fundraiser or even uh, ways on how you can purchase the poinsettias you'd like for Christmas. We'll see sunny skies during the day today. Winds will be out of the north with speeds of around 6 to 11 miles an hour, and they could gust as high as 24 miles per hour at times, so don't be surprised by that. That's very common when uh, fronts are coming through uh, and when there are temperature changes that happen that you know, tend to fluctuate over 10 to 10 degrees or more. You see some wind gusts that develop in there as pressure is being released from the atmosphere. We'll see clear skies this evening, the lows around the freezing mark. Winds will become calm as we move through the overnight hours. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website www.sasloop.com. Mentioned that you uh, saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today we'll see sunny skies high of around 60 degrees, clear skies this evening with a low of 32. On Tuesday, sunny skies high of around 55 degrees with increasing cloudiness as we head into Tuesday evening, low of 35. Wednesday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies, high of 59 degrees. We'll see rain chances increase as we go through the afternoon and evening hours on Wednesday. So if you're doing some traveling, everything will look good as you, if you were to head out in the morning, but if, as you head out to the afternoon and evening hours, you could encounter some rain along the way as you travel to wherever you're planning on going this Thanksgiving holiday. 60% chance of uh, rain on Wednesday night and it may last into the overnight hours, low of 49. The good news is we'll be dry on Thanksgiving Day. So if you're planning on maybe doing some sort of socially distant gathering on Thanksgiving Day, I do have a 30% chance of rain there, but that's really going to be from midnight till about 7 a.m. Uh, after that, uh, we're going to become partly sunny, high of 68. We'll see some increasing cloudiness with mostly clear skies on Thursday evening with a low of 45. On Friday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 66 and mostly cloudy skies Friday evening with a low of 47. So we'll certainly continue to keep you updated 
on what to expect. First of all, with that rain that could come through on Wednesday and then uh, temperatures on Thanksgiving Day. But if you're planning on doing anything outside for Thanksgiving Day, I'd say you've got a golden opportunity to do that uh, as uh, conditions are looking very favorable at this point. Remember, as you go through the holiday season to visit local, our friends at Euro Inn can help you out with that. They've got all the details on events going on around the county, any kind of sales, festivities, anything local that uh, may be going on that you might need to be uh, interested in. They can provide you all the details there. You can visit their website as well by uh, going to rowancountyweather.com on the forecast page. You'll see all these same graphics like you're seeing here on the screen right now. Just click on that image that says visit local. It'll take you over to the Euro Rowan website and they'll have all the details for you there as well. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather, you can check out our website anytime at www.rohancountyweather.com. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you know someone who doesn't utilize the internet or social media, they can check us out on WSRG TV in Salisbury, and we'll keep you updated there. That's available on uh, Hotwire Channel 394 and Spectrum Channel 16. And we'll keep you updated on the weather, all the events going on around the county, and anything else you might need to know involving Rowan County. As always, thank you for following Rowan County weather and enjoy your Monday, everybody.